Hey and welcome back and in this lesson I'm going to show you how you can export your track if you want to share it with someone or if you want to upload it to the internet um, yeah obviously you want to export your track once it's done so the only thing you need to think about here is or the only thing that you need to change is the ending position of your song so now you can see we've got this left indicator and we've got the right indicator but there's also an end indicator and if I look at this little bar here at the bottom where we can zoom in and out if you look all the way to the right there's a little little locator right there and that is our ending locator so if I export it just like this it's going to export this whole section and then it's going to carry on exporting all of this blank space all the way to this end locator there you can see if I scroll with this uh, bar here at the bottom it will take me to that E. So I'm just going to zoom out here all the way so I can see my track here at the beginning. And that's the ending of my track. So I'm going to drag this E forward like so. And let's just zoom in here um, using Z. And then zoom out a little bit. And then make sure that our E is at the end of our track. If you want to, if it kind of fades out at the end, you can always put the E um, maybe just give it like one bar space if it maybe fades out slowly um, Then you can do that, but for this it's just a loop So I'm just going to place the E right there Make sure that is also there and we're going to put the song position at the beginning and uh, now we're going to simply go to file and We're going to go to export song as audio file now You can also export a loop the loop will only export what is between the left and the right sometimes you want to maybe you only want to export let's say this little section here then you can do that but for this example we want to export our complete track so you're going to go to file and then we're going to go to export song as audio file and then you can choose between a few formats so we've got IFF wave and mp3 so usually you will go with wave or mp3 i know some people do like to use this iff file but i usually go with wave or mp3 so i'm going to just click on mp3 and i'm going to give it a name and then click on save replace that because i saved it already so that will just re-export that file and you can see that is done and now i can go to your desktop and you will have an mp3 file there and you can play it and you can share it with your friends or upload it to the internet I will see you in the next lesson.